Well, the whole object is uh, we're talking about scenarios for decision making and also scenarios of modeling for decision making. So combining the two, you start out with scenario storylines, you go back with different types of models, and these are not always quantified mathematical models, but sometimes they're more simplified conceptual models. But you, the idea is to go back and forth with the stakeholder groups and decision makers from the scenario storylines into different types of models, whether they're conceptual models, mathematical models, or dynamic models, and take those models, once the quantification is being done, go back to the stakeholder group for discussions with the stakeholder groups. Do these models now match what your thinking is and what your need is for decision making? Then this process re reiterates again, once they, and they refine the scenarios and the models according to what decision makers and stakeholder groups say, and then we come, we come back and develop better modeling. And so this process goes on and on and again, and this is how decisions can be improved over time by using scenarios and mathematical modeling tools. The project that I am currently working for is, a, is the Scenarios Project under the World Water Assessment Program, so it's under UN Water actually directly. And it's one of the major, major projects that will go on for the next three years until the next water form and final results will be de delivered at that time. The first phase results have already been delivered as part of this form.